Welcome to Small Town USA, where farming is not just a way to make a living, but a way of life for many people. Rosedale, Mississippi, birthplace of blues and rock and roll, also jazz. Legend has it that a guitar player had sold his soul to the devil at the crossroads. However, some bad's been lurking around good old small town USA. A yoke of oppression has started to develop. It's come through many forms. Fatherless homes, government dependency on US funding, and also it's created ghost towns like these because of many industries starting in Metropolis. However, there was a man. He had a vision from God to create a hub of ministries to break this yoke of oppression. This is his story. We've been preaching a gospel of convenience. Amen. And, and one, of, um, one of the things that you're about to see in this season is you are going to see separation of those with the gospel of convenience. I guess for me, the greatest revelation that I had of the Lord the night I met him when I was still a sinner was the fact that he was the King of Kings. When I met him as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, it really changed my perception of who he was. I had a perception that he was weak and frail and just the lamb, and that was all I could see of him. That was my perception of him. But when I met him as the King of Kings, that really changed my perception of who he was. Crosswalk came to be out of a, an all-night prayer meeting. One night, me and some friends of mine, my wife, who were praying, and uh, at the time, I was discipling people and doing a lot of Bible studies, and just really, wherever the Lord would open doors, I would have an open door. And our home had an open door policy, so eventually, there just people who were living with me, and, and they were always there, and constantly doing these prayer meetings and everything, and I said, you know, in my heart, I said, wouldn't it be neat to have a piece of property where all of these things could take place? Consistently, you know, just a constant flow of God in, in and around the property. And the Lord that night in that prayer meeting gave me a vision of this and began to ask me, you know, just begin to enter, I began to intercede and, and in my heart began to sort of birth this in prayer. Well, five years later, the Lord brought us this 20 acres that we sit on now. And um, he brought this piece of property to us. And unbeknownst to me, there have been people praying for this piece of property since 1958. My neighbors. Um, she looked out through this property in 1958, and uh, she looked out across here and saw people from all over the world worshiping here on this property. And it was just a cotton field at that time. So a few months after I moved in, the Lord spoke to me and said, "You're going to enter into someone else's labors." And uh, I met her, and she told me that story. She said, "I know where every building's going to go. I know where every road. I knew you were going to." Um, dig your pond. I, I know everything's going to happen because I saw a vision in 1958 of, um, of what, what's gonna, what God's going to do. And there are going to be young people from all over the world literally come to this place. And what we want to see is we want to just see a hub of ministries, not just me as a minister, but a hub of ministries where people can grow. Some people live here. Some people just come to visit. Missionaries come and stop and it's a place of rest for them. Um, we have friends that are in the area who are ministers and, and they come and they fellowship with us. And, and I just want to see a place where people can not only be disciples but can grow and, and, and a hub, really. I think that when, it's, when it takes on a life of its own, we'll begin to see a hub of activity of so many different ministries and things that God's doing and a flow uh, that is unprecedented that will reach the end time harvest that I believe is coming within the next few years. First time that we went to service at the Crosswalk Ranch, I felt the presence of God there. Um, that there was no pretense. Uh, it was just an awesome presence of the Lord there, and it encouraged my heart. And then they come to our church to help us because our congregation had gotten smaller, and it's given new life and new hope to us as a congregation of people because the Lord has once again began to breathe life back into our congregation and we just appreciate them so much for that and a blessing to us 
um, in so many ways because we thank God for that new freshness that has come to our church since they've been fellowshipping with us. What is Crosswalk? Good question. To me, in time of my ministry life, Crosswalk was an oasis. It was a place that I could come and get a drink. I see Crosswalk being a hospital uh, for the battered, for the bruised, for the downtrodden, for the destroyed. And I knew a time in my ministry life that now that I'm a part of the ministry team, that a Crosswalk is going to change Delta. I believe it's going to be a ministry in itself that is going to manifest, is going to grow beyond all imagine. Throughout my whole life, I grew up in church. And I was one of those people that wasn't really searching for anything. I thought I'd already found it. And when Curtis and Tabitha came into my life, I realized that I was really dead, that I didn't have anything, that I was dead and Christ was not in me. And by them showing me that, it led me to this place and it led me to restoration and realizing that, you know, God had a purpose for me and remembering the things that have been spoken throughout my life. And this is coming from someone that was living a life of sin and then coming and now I'm teaching and showing people you know what Christ has done for me and it's just amazing that within three or four years of coming in contact with this place that he has transformed everything that I was and who I am now. Yeah. We believe that God has given a remnant to rule America. If you believe yourself to be a part of that remnant and would like some help from us as a ministry, feel free to contact us at any point in time. Let us know.